Crash now at five, a terrifying home invasion in Watertown. Police say a 16 year old broke in armed with a hatchet and attacked a girl he knows from school. Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Dennis Valera is live at the police department tonight. And Dennis, you were actually able to speak with the victim's father. Yes, Aaron, very briefly over the phone, he and his family understandably want their privacy at this time, but he did tell me that his daughter is now at home recovering and just trying to get past this. Now, a lot of people in this town, they're pulling for her. This crime has really shaken the community. News of what happened at a home on Morristown Line Highway yesterday still has people in disbelief. It's total shocking and it's sad. I mean, it, these things have to happen. Police say in the afternoon, a 16 year old Watertown High School student broke into a home there. Armed with a hatchet, he attacked a teenage girl. Police say the suspect was obsessed with the victim, and it may have been an issue the victim's family knew about. The victim uh, saw the assailant approaching the home and was able to call her father uh, by cell phone. He was at work, at uh, which time uh, the father called the family members from the, the home nearby. Police Chief Joshua Berniger says the victim had serious injuries. Particularly to her head, legs, and hands. Family members chased the suspect off into the woods around the home. It would be another hour until police caught him. With the help of Watertown High School resource officer, they were able to get on the phone with him and coax him to cooperate. The relationship that uh, our school resource officers develop uh, with all the students, uh, uh, and particularly in this case, was instrumental in, uh, in gaining the cooperation of the suspect. The suspect was found with a large kitchen knife, machete, binoculars, and duct tape. He's now facing multiple charges, including attempted murder and stalking. Meanwhile, police and the community at large are keeping the victim in their thoughts. I just hope that the, the girl and the family are okay and, mm -hmm. and that, you know, everybody is fine there. The investigation is ongoing, but no further arrests are expected. Now, police say during the pandemic, reports of bullying, harassment, and stalking have increased. If you find yourself in that situation or in that kind of situation, excuse me, let your family know. And then if you feel in danger, inform police. Live here in Watertown, Dennis Valera, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Dennis, some good